Welcome. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to walk you through how to create a blog post and then how to submit your blog post to uh, the Canvas website for grading. So there's, uh, there's a certain way you need to do it so that um, the instructor and your classmates can view your blog post and so we can you can get a grade on it okay so here I am I'm in uh, my blogger uh, blogger login right so this is my account um, I have uh, right here I can see which blog I'm in I'm in TVCC econ 201 okay so the link just below that is view blog right so you can click on view blog and it, it'll show you what a, a user or somebody that comes in to look at your blog and read it will see so let's go back here real quick so if I say I want to share my blog and submit my blog there's a URL up here right now that is the incorrect URL to use to submit your blog right that's the blogger login for you to go in as an admin and work with your blogs and actually create new stuff right if you do view blog this is the URL right here that uh, anybody can use as long as you have your settings set to public anybody can use to go in and look at your blog so that's the first thing if you submit this link this URL right here it'll work and uh, the instructor and your classmates will be able to go in and look at your blog So there's, there's another way to do this, right? So if you want to create, I, I have a post that's currently in here, but I want to create a new post. So there's four posts that we need, need to do during the term. So let's say I want to create a new post. So I go in here at this orange button right here, I click on that, and it's going to be a new post. So, so I'm going to say maybe, uh, I'm going to say blog post two, right? So this is about, uh, Supply and demand. Okay, and then there, this is where you would type out your actual post. So we need to have it. Typically, I'd like you to submit it in essay format, right? So that's going to be uh, five paragraphs, intro paragraphs, three supporting paragraphs, and a conclusion, right? So ideally, that's where you can submit it in. Um, in typical blogs, you don't. Uh, it, it varies, right? As you look at actual blogs out there, what format they're going to do it in. But that's what I would like it in. I would like it in five paragraphs. So I'm going to have an intro paragraph, and in my intro paragraph, I'm going to have um, just I'm going to say this is this is my intro paragraph for blog post number two, supply and demand, and these are the issues I'm going to talk about with my big decision. Then you're going to have uh, paragraph one, two, and three, and then your conclusion. Okay, so let's say I type it out. So there it is, all ready. It's done. What I need to do is I need to hit publish. So if uh, my post is published, then that means other people can look at it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And there it is, it brings it up right here, right? Okay, so if I go in here in this little link and click on view, it's gonna take me in and I'm gonna be viewing not only my main blog, but it's gonna take me specifically to that post that I just created. And so you can copy and paste this URL and that will give the person viewing, uh, wanting to come and view your blog, a direct path to that specific post right so the so the link here the view your blog gives them uh, a link to your entire blog right so the main page on your blog this post that we did with uh, within here where we click view on the specific blog post that I just created would give them a URL to your specific post, the most current post that you did that you're submitting now. So you can click, uh, select the entire URL above here, right? Uh, you can do Control C for copy if you like 
port uh, keyboard shortcuts or you can right click on the URL and, and select copy. Okay, so I've just copied that and now I'm going to go over to Canvas. So I'm looking at this as if I were a student. So this is the Canvas, the Canvas uh, page for the class. And I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go in and find, I can either go through coursework or through modules. It's going to take me to the same place. This is where all of our assignments are listed. I'm going to go down to blog posts. Let's say this is blog post number one. I would go into this link and put it in here. The one I did was blog post number two, right? So I would go in there and do that. So let's go find blog post number two. There it is. Okay, so the blue button here, submit assignment. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to give me an option to submit a website URL down here at the bottom. I already copied the URL, so it's in my clipboard of my computer. And I can go in here and I can either do Control V, which is copy, or paste, I'm sorry, which is paste. I've already copied it, so I'm going to paste it here. Control V, as in Victor, would paste it there. Or I can right click when I have my mouse in here and select paste. So there is my uh, blog URL, and then I can do submit assignment. And there it is, submitted. So that's how you submit it. You can, you got to go in there. You got to make sure you have the correct view. Copy the URL. Come back in. Go to submission into the blog post you're doing. Submit it into that specific uh, URL uh, space, right? Cop copy or paste it in there, and then submit. And then your instructor will be able to see it. Uh, the person doing the peer review, your other classmate, will be able to see it and go in there and look at it. Otherwise, it's not going to be if you just copy this this one that starts with blogger.com here. If you copy and paste that, it's not going to work. It's not. I'm not going to be able to see it. Um, the instructor's not going to be able to see it. Your classmate's not going to be able to see it. Okay. So hopefully this helps. And uh, if you have any more questions, contact your instructor. Thanks. Bye.